Hey guys, what's up? It's Will Patterson here again with another Illustrator CC or CS6 tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how I did this text effect within an Illustrator. Okay, so first off, this is an actual font. I didn't draw it or anything. This is a font. And I've basically, if you don't notice what I've done, uh, I round here, you can see, I've cut out pieces of uh, the other letters where the serifs of the end letters here cut into. So it gives it this cool weird effect that you might want to use. So I thought I'd show you how I did it. And also I created just this little top bit here. We're not going to really discuss the colors or anything. So um, I might do that in another video. But it's very self-explanatory if you already know how to use Illustrator. These are just pen paths here. You can see if I just click on what have I got here. And you can see on here these are just paths with the blob brush or the pen tool that I've expanded and just added some effects to. Okay, so we're going to go create a new layer, Command N, and we're going to go for uh, a 1920 by 1080 pixel document. <clears throat> and press OK. And then the first thing we're going to do is we're going to type out tutorial. Right, and then we're going to expand it up, and I'm going to sort this out. So I'm going to press Command T to get my type options up. And I'm just going to type in lobster, because I know that that is the font that I want to use. Awesome. Okay, and then we're just going to go ahead and... Um, highlight this, press Command, Shift, and O, which will expand it into a shape. So that is not any editable text now. That is an actual shape. And then I'm just going to horizontally and vertically align it to the outboard. Okay, so we're just going to keep the text black and white for now to make it a bit easier. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go down here. I'm going to zoom in and just move my outboard here. I'm just going to go and take this U. So I'm going to go ahead and ungroup these by pressing Command, Shift, and G, and then click off and click back on the U. Okay, I want to go and press Command C because we need to copy this. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and press M, which will get us to our elliptical tool. We want to cut out part of this U, so we only want this part here of the U. But we've already copied the U, so we'll paste it back in later. So I'm just going to make a square like this. And then I'm going to highlight them both pressing shift and highlighting them and then I'm going to go down to my pathfinder options here to intersect now what that does is that the top shape intersects the other one so wherever the shape is it just cuts out so as you can see I put a square here and it's only going to leave this part of the shape in so I need to actually move this square up so it reaches a whole shape like so and then intersect it if I can find it exclude intersect awesome the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my eraser and then I'm just going to go ahead and soften this up a little bit here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And then the trick is, is to use the path uh, options here. So we go to object and path. And then we're going to go to offset path. And we'll get this little dialog box. Within this, we want to press preview so we know what we're previewing. Now, if you saw my other one that I can't click to just now, that it was actually rounded. So we need to go to the joins and make it so it's round. And then we can either offset it more or less. So we're going to offset it a bit more like so. And I'm going to press OK. So now these are two shapes as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and click this other shape here and then we're just going to unite them together. So it's just one big shape. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to highlight both of these shapes. So this part here and the T. And we're going to go to a pathfinder options and press minus front. And that will cut that out with the T. The next thing we want to do is we want to press Command F, which will paste the U back in into its normal form. And then we do the same with the other letters. So if I go to T, I'll do it really quickly. So I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to actually use my eraser tool this time and bring um, the brush size up a bit so we can see. And then I'm just going to go ahead and cut that out into two shapes. And then maybe, maybe cut it again, like here, because I don't actually want this little piece here. Then I'm going to go here, object, path, offset path, and it should be to the same levels that I left it last time, so we can press OK, bring these both together, join them, highlight this, minus front, paste back in, and then so on. So you go all this throughout of your text, and then you can group them together so it's one big text here, and you can warp them in the envelope options. So guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you in my next one. Goodbye.